Hi, my name is Pedro Lopez and I lead the Human Computer Interaction Group at the University of Chicago. Today, we have seven talks from the ACM CHI 2021 conference from my group to present to you. The first one, presented by my student Shen Yuan Tang, is called Touch and Fold and demonstrates a haptic actuator that allows you to touch virtual objects in mixed reality but still keeps your finger pads free to also touch real objects. It's really about prioritizing choosing the real world over the virtual world. This talk won a best paper honorable mention. The second one, presented by my student Alex Mazursky, is called Magnet IO and demonstrates a haptic actuator that can be placed everywhere in the environment because it's passive and it's made from soft and stretchable magnets. It becomes alive and gives haptic feedback when the user's finger, which is wearing an electromagnetic coil, comes in contact with it. The third paper, presented by my student Jazz Brooks, is called Stereo Smell Electrical Trigeminal Stimulation and demonstrates how we can achieve stereo smell, if a smell is coming to the left or through the right, by using a tiny electrical stimulator so small that it fits inside your nose. The fourth paper um, is presented by my visiting PhD student Akifumi Takahashi and is called Back of the Hand Electrical Muscle Stimulation, in which we demonstrate a novel electrode placement in the back of the hand rather than the forearm location that provides unprecedented accuracy to electrical muscle stimulation of the finger flexors. This paper has received a Best Paper Award. The next three papers were done with our collaborators. The fifth paper is presented by Yushin Chen and it's called User Authentication via Electrical Muscle Stimulation, in which we demonstrate a novel use for electrical muscle stimulation not as the traditional haptic feedback that my group typically uses, but as a means to authenticate the person who is wearing the electrodes. This was done in collaboration with a sand lab at the University of Chicago. The sixth paper, which is presented by my long-term collaborator Shunichi Kazahara from Sony Computer Science Laboratory, investigates a question that my group has been working on for about three or four years. What happens to our sense of agency when our muscles are moved by means of electrical muscle stimulation. Do we feel like we lost control or still feel in control? In this paper, we demonstrate that using a muscle stimulation strategy that preserves the user's sense of agency during electrical muscle stimulation training actually ends up speeding up the user's reaction time even after they remove the electrodes. Then, our seventh and last paper, which is presented by Sengyu Ji, is called Elevate, and this is our second collaboration with Andrea Bianchi's group at KAIST. Here, we demonstrate how to engineer a floor that can dynamically change its terrain even as you walk on it. I hope you enjoy these presentations and these papers.